Tomorrow, my, my job is really asking. Congrats on an amazing performance, playing on the Are you sure? Right. I'm going to show you that list. Right. I love you. I love you. I love you. I know you remember that. So, Go and ask your question. So, first, you know, you had to fight with Tony. You got to get your shit together. You always hate no people and shit. You see, you got to come back to me now. You got to respect me now. You got to tweet and respect me now. Yeah. 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 All right. So first fight with Tony Harrison, you know, close fight. I thought you won, yeah. and you come back and you knock him out. This time you knock out Sanya after yeah. a close fight. What does that say about your boxing IQ? Yeah. You're making all these adjustments and getting knocked out. I'm high on IQ. Then I mean, like, that's what ASPN wanted to hear. I mean, IQ is really high. That's great. Um, I'm a clean fighter. I do everything, I, I try to not throw rapid punches, I try to, you know, use effective punches that matter in boxing, like my jab, and I use, like, strong punches, and I'm a very strong 154 pounder, and I've been at this weight for some years, so, um, I'm trying to figure out, like, did y'all did watch the first fight, a lot of those shots that Castano was throwing, even in this fight, you know, they were sliding off the gloves, I was blocking the majority of those punches, it just sounds good because of the crowd is rapping. Rap. But when you're a fanboy and you can't even really never been in the fucking ring before, you will never can really understand what's really going on in there. Punches were slipped, punches were ducked, punches were blocked. And that's what Derrick James teaches. And I was I was durable. <laughs> Jamel, right Mohammed Mubarak with the Electronic Urban Report. We are a black publication. I write a, a column called Ringside Update, and I want to know. How do you feel about at the end of this fight, the big crowd, the, the people behind it, you made it a great fight. You made it one of the greatest fights in history and I want to tip my hat to you Thank and you. leave it off. How do you feel now? I feel, I feel like, uh, like I really accomplished something like very, very important, like very, very major, something that's gonna stand for a very long time. Um, just, just, Every time they think about, I feel like I'm, I made it to a Hall of Fame level. As I know, hate, hate nasty ESPN ain't gonna tell me to believe this, but I made it to a, a very, very strong, very, very strong pedestal in my career. You know what I'm saying? And so I believe that, like, I get to call the shots, I get to do what I do, and who knows what's next for me in boxing? Now, you got no choice. But to put me, to, you know, you know what I mean. If I'm a powerless, it's cool. I don't give a fuck about that. You gotta watch me. <laughs> Stano had the majority of his success against you when you were against the ropes. Right. Is that something you're looking to avoid at all costs in this rematch? No, not at all. And you see, he got clipped. He got buckled. You know what I'm saying? For Mike Capucho hating ass. Tell Mike Capucho he'll fucking hate him. You know what I'm saying? All that jazz shit he be on, he'll fuck him. Cause you know why? Cause he never boxed before. They sit in that and they sitting there talking shit about us, but they never even boxed before. They never even been in the ring. You, you boxers get on the ropes. Boxers sometimes get on the ropes, and what you do when you're on the ropes? You gotta fight yourself off the ropes. So I'm, you know, I'm de delayed myself in, to the winning that fight. Yeah, I could have won that fight. Yeah, I could have did better by not being on the ropes. And what? The, the, the crowd, the fans, they, 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 they give it to what these motherfuckers talk about. You know what I'm saying? They talk, Jamil Sholo was on the ropes. What, I fought myself off the ropes. Who got hurt? Who got hurt more? Who got buckled? Who? To me, I won all that shit. I'm him. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I just won't get myself on the ropes that much. And when I fucking start pulling the ropes, I'm gonna start getting myself off the ropes, put it back in the center of the ring. Because Tano is a guy that throws 100,000 punches on me, so they say on some bullshit. Not against me, so what? I ran, I won that opportunity. I won that objective. He didn't throw as many punches at me. Why? Because he, he did, he would've got hurt. He would've, he, the fight would've ended. Let him come in there charging me up like that again. I'm gonna come in that motherfucker and smash him. This time around, thank you, Steven. Well, come in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the president of Showtime. Why he keep bringing me back? Why they keep doing this to me? Why they keep, because they, they fuck with me, they fuck with my skills. They understand what I possess in the ring. I'm him.